Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you a TiddyCal tutorial for beginners. Now this video will have everything you need to know about TiddyCal and how you can use their software. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So here we have the TiddyCal dashboard and you can access this by just typing in TiddyCal on your browser and you should see this on your first few results. And as you can see, since I'm already logged in, if I click on this, then it'll take me to the dashboard immediately. But if you don't have an account, then it will take you to the website instead, wherein you can sign up for a free account and then uh, give it a trial run before you actually uh, purchase more of their features. So uh, you can check out their uh, additional features right here. So they have a an extensive uh, list on this article on uh, what they actually offer. So at a glance, uh, what they're best for, basically uh, marketing agencies, product managers, sales managers, and this can serve as an alternative to Calendly or Doodle. And upon signing up, you'll actually uh, be asked if you want to integrate Calendly with your uh, TiddyCal. And you can also uh, link your uh, other accounts for for calendar population or for calendar auto population rather so you can actually link your google calendar if you'd like and some other integrations so here are some other uh, sample integrations you have google paypal stripe zapier and zoom and again it allows existing accounts uh, here the additional features include customizing your book page or booking page where you can create custom availability, choose specific dates as available, and specify time blocks of availability. You can also set up unlimited booking types. So here you can see the sample and you can connect your calendar. Like I've mentioned a while ago, you can connect your Google, Office 365, or iCal to make sure meeting availability is accurate. And then uh, you can connect multiple calendars, charge for your sessions, so uh, this allows you to get paid for your time whenever you ch uh, charge for consultations, coaching sessions, or any service that you provide directly on TiddyCal. Uh, you can just set up and accept payments quickly and become part of their exclusive directory. So here, uh, their plans and features. These are some of the inclusions. There's a 60-day money-back guarantee. And here are their plans for the individual plan. It's a one-time purchase of $39. And these are the inclusions for agency plan, one-time purchase of $79 and with the following inclusions. So that's for their additional features. But then again, you can uh, actually do a lot or learn a lot from just the free account. So right over here, we're gonna show you how it looks. The, the this section right here is the earnings part if you're gonna charge for your uh, bookings so like uh, we saw a while ago where you can set up payments and then uh, charge for your bookings and here you have some default templates for booking types you have the 15 minute meeting and a 30 minute meeting and 60 minute meeting you can freely customize these as you can see you can you can clone it as well you can edit them or delete them so let's try to edit the 15 minute uh, meeting you can change the title depending on what type of booking you're trying to uh, promote or your your offering and of course you have the URL and then just uh, edit the description right here and you can select a calendar to add these bookings so if you have an integrated calendar then you can uh, freely add them here but this is locked behind a feature or rather a plan so upgrade to select a calendar so if you want to select an integrated calendar then you're gonna have to purchase their uh, paid plan all right so you can also add video conference links phone numbers custom meeting locations and details and then for paid plan subscribers you can enable custom confirmation redirect page so you can redirect your invitee to a custom url after a successful booking action just to make the experience more uh, interactive with them and you can also charge for this booking again this is uh, tied behind a paid plan subscription 
So here you have a booking duration and intervals. You can define booking duration and available time slot intervals, availability, group bookings, questions to invitees, custom email reminders, and booking privacy. All right, so that's for editing the specific booking type or the default uh, booking type template we have. Now we're gonna head back here, booking type was save. All right, so they have this feature where you can uh, copy, share link, or save, or rather uh, just share it within uh, different uh, social media platforms, SMS, email, X, or formerly known as Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and add a link to your email signature. All right, so there's that. Now we're just going to try to head back if we can. Not sure where we can. Oh, there we go. All right, so here we just updated the booking type. Let's head back to our dashboard. So right over here. If you want to create a new booking type, just uh, click on this uh, plus icon right here. It allows you to just start from scratch. But it helps if you have templates like these. You can just uh, edit them and uh, fill in the necessary details to uh, fit uh, the services that you're offering. All right, so you also toggle the meetings on and off just to uh, make them available. So as you can see here, a 60-minute meeting is off, and the rest are uh, toggled on. Uh, let's check what else we have. So for teams, here you can create a team and invite team members as well. So I believe this includes... Uh, assigning roles and permissions but again this is uh, tied behind a paid subscription so here collected meetings TiddyCal provides a way for multiple hosts or team members to meet with one or more attendees so uh, these are all basically just the the uh, permissions that are being granted to your team so uh, there you can have your own team once you pay uh, once you pay for a subscription on TiddyCal you can create date poll. Date polls allow a group of people to collectively select the most suitable date and time for a booking. So this is uh, more on uh, group meetings. Group meetings that require maybe a unison date of availability for your uh, customers. So here, just put in the title, then the URL, description, and the duration of the meeting. And then, of course, you can add the dates for this poll. So right here. You're going to include the options and then they're just going to vote on the poll, whichever works best for them or for the majority of your customers. And again, you can add video conference links, phone numbers, and custom meeting locations and details. All right, so moving back. For availability, you have global availability. Choose use global availability in your booking types to use these availability settings. So it can either be weekly so you can set a, a weekly schedule or you can just set specific dates if it's not the standard weekly schedule you're following all right so that's for availability and for bookings you can uh, see an extensive list or all the information for your past and current as well as future bookings right over here so if you have any booking set up in the future or uh, bookings that were done already or currently uh ongoing bookings then all of them will appear in this section and that's it for today thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next time